hopefully this works. Hi guys. Good afternoon. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today, you know, I really just wanted to kind of take the time to um, to talk about um, just what I've been doing for the past couple of weeks. Um, I noticed um, normally um, when I started my YouTube channel like a month and a half ago, um, at the beginning of February, I decided I really wanted to tackle and to put up, to post or upload videos at least four times a week, just to get some um, real tra trajectory going, the flow of viewership and that sort of thing. And so, you know, I actually liked how that was going in the beginning. And um, I, I will say that it kind of slowed down a little bit in the, um, I guess, what, two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. And then I decided like, hmm, whether I should actually continue on that journey of doing four times a week of uploading just to get the trajectory going as a new YouTube um, blogger or should I just um, you know really kind of take notice to what some of the other um, veteran YouTube bloggers have, um, have been saying for the past few months about this whole uh, transition of what a lot of YouTube bloggers are doing are doing um, one phenomenal good, you know, amazing content a video a week versus that of like, say, four to five videos um, during the whole work week, Monday through Friday. Um, so, you know, I tried that for the past week to see um, if that would help, you know, or this is the difference in between loading up one video a week versus um, for videos a week um, and particularly what I do for my content what I, I am a, a um, artist um, YouTube vlogger and um, yeah so do I'm an artist um, multi-dimensional um, artist and the video tape is still going at two minutes and eight minutes um, I just did a whole like uh, I did a big clean sweep um, not an entire clean sweep of getting away with videos with photos so um, hope this video is still going so yeah, that's where I'm at now. Um, I'm still deliberating whether I should go back to the four times a week, um, just to continue to, just to up my viewership, but not, which I probably, you know what, I wanted to do. Um, so getting right into the meat and potatoes of this um, video, I really wanted to talk to you guys about my, my technique and um, what I actually have been doing for the past, um, a uh, couple of weeks, um, you know, I, as you, my last video that I did put up um, last week, it was the um, final reveal of my final, of my fantasy uh, realism painting, which I was very proud of and very happy about the Two Masters painting. I really liked the work progress and what I got out of that with that painting. And um, just today I've started my, um, actually this past week I started my brand new fantasy a realism painting that I'm doing and um, I put a video up for that already um, go and see that um, just like the general that's getting the general map of the yeah the principal figures whatnot down um, so for that what I've been doing for the past couple of weeks I have been editing and working on my stop motion animation film that I've been have working on on and off for the past three years um, I am in post-production with that animation film um it is is a <laughs> it, i will say it has been a meticulous um um onset it's been a meticulous journey um it, it is um yeah <laughs> um but you know it's actually been a it's been i've i've, I've enjoyed it i have enjoyed the journey i have enjoyed it and um, I'm on this, this post-production editing phase of the stop motion animation that I'm doing. I'm doing a paper cut out stop motion animation. And what I will do, like right here, <laughs> I'm going to kind of give you like a snippet clip of just what um, that looks like. The film actually started out as a um, my initial um, goal for the film was for it to start out as a a short 
stop motion animation film. You know, very psychological, that sort of thing, without the narration and all of that. But now, <laughs> it is now officially a feature animation film. And um, I just recently had a um, good look at the... Um, I went over to the Academy Motion Arts um, um, website, Academy Awards, whatnot, or, yeah. And so um, I happened to look at the, um, what they actually had to say in regards to what um, is, makes a film eligible to be a short versus that of a feature film. And anything that's actually under 45 minutes is considered any animation film. Any animation film that is, con that is under 45 minutes is considered a, um, a um, short, a short animation short. Versus if anything is over 45 minutes, it's right there. Anything that's over 45 minutes is considered a feature. And that's the category where I'm in. And no, I'm not going to cut it down to be court. There's no way in God's holy earth that I'm going to cut it down. Excuse me, those are my kids. There's no way in God's holy earth I'm going to cut it down to make it short. Um, but um, I'm actually going to be um, doing this, um, yeah, full feature length. Um, Hi, thanks guys for stopping by and seeing my wonderful, awesome tutorials. Um, I hope to see you guys again. Thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel and the videos. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also there's my official website at sinkia.com um, if you want to buy any type of new art deals, any drawings, paintings, they're all there for you to see. It'll also follow you over there. Just follow it over to the square.com website where you can actually buy and make purchases of everything. Um, thank you so much for stopping by, and I will see you next time. Bye. Peace out.